Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I have a bit of a breaking news story concerning a bug with Fitbit and iOS 13.5. If you're watching this around the 22nd, 23rd of May 2020, my immediate advice is to hang on, wait, don't do anything. Before I start, I want to say how much I actually love my Fitbit. I've had four of them, I think, and set up a bunch more for other people. They're the easiest to use and set up of all of the trackers I've come across. I would love to try one of the more advanced models, especially when I start running again. But for now, I'm really loving my Charge 2, even with its slightly cracked screen. I wanted to get this video out to help people who might be stuck with the app not opening at the moment. I'm certainly not here to bash Fitbit. Stuff happens. Hopefully they'll get it fixed real soon. In fact, I'm sure there's people working crazily at the moment just to get it back up and running properly. I like them so much, I've got a link up here so you can even go and buy one if you don't have one. This story started off just a few hours ago when I woke up this morning. I went to check my Fitbit app as I usually do to compare how I think I slept to how the app thinks I slept. It's my one person gauge of how good the technology is at tracking sleep and I think it's pretty good. This morning I got nothing. The app wouldn't load. All I got was this error that the app was no longer shared with me. Seems pretty odd. So I had a look in the app store and even checked for updates. There's no pending update. In fact, the app was updated three days ago. That could be the problem. The only option in the app store was to open the app, which just repeated the process and gave the error again. My first thought was to delete the app from my phone, download it again from the app store. But that has a tendency to delete the data. I didn't want to lose any of my unsynced data, if I could avoid it. I reached out to Fitbit's customer support on Facebook Messenger, but it was probably just gone knockoff time in the US, so I think I just missed them. A quick scout on the Fitbit community site suggested I delete and download the app, but I wanted to do some investigating first. I decided to log into my Fitbit dashboard and see what it had to say. It seems my Fitbit last synced to the Fitbit site at 10am yesterday. Okay, so I should only lose 24 hours of data, worst case scenario. I figured the only scientific thing to do was test it, delete the app, download it again, and see what happened. If nothing else, I'd be able to share with you what happened and how likely you were to lose any data. So I pressed and held on the app and selected delete app. I then went into the app store, found the Fitbit app, and downloaded it afresh again to my phone. Once downloaded, I had to find it on the back page of my apps and start it. I had to log into the app with my username and password, which is the same one I'd used to log in on the desktop, and which I was able to pre-fill from my LastPass account. If you don't know what LastPass is, it's a password manager, and there's a video linked up here that you can watch all about it. Once logged in, the app found my charge too, without even needing to resync the Bluetooth. Or did it? It has me listed as having done 270 steps for the day. That's right, that's what the watch says too because I really just got up and came straight out to my office to record this. But there's no sleep details. Sometimes it takes a second sync and a bit of time because Fitbit processes all of the sleep data in the cloud and then syncs it back down to the phone. The second sync failed, so I tried again. Hmm, maybe it's not syncing properly after all. I checked in the settings and it hasn't synced for a couple of days, yet it has my 270 steps from today. Something really odd is going on. I decided to turn my Bluetooth settings off and forget it from the listing. In fact, it seemed to automatically add the charge to straight back in. Or well, did it? Because when I went back in, it wasn't there again. All very confusing. At this point, I started getting less scientific and decided to remove my charge to from the Fitbit app altogether. That was possibly a mistake. That was when I got this message. Hmm. Okay, so there's something seriously wrong at the Fitbit end. As I said, they're probably scrambling around like crazy trying to fix it. For now, my tip is to be patient. Just wait. Your Fitbit itself is still recording all of your steps and data, so that won't be a problem at all. Hopefully when this is all sorted out, it'll just sync up and everything will be honky-dory. Okay, last minute update. It's all fixed and working. I managed to re-add my Fitbit into the app. It's synced, it's got all of my sleep data. I had a great sleep last night, thank you for asking. Uh, all of my steps are there from yesterday, the day before, and it all works happily. Hit the thumbs up button down below if this video was useful for you. And leave me a comment to let me know what's happened for you. 
The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And there's a subscribe button down here that will make sure you never miss any of our future episodes. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.